Welcome back everyone, Dan Vega here with another tutorial. Today we're going to look at recording keystrokes in ScreenFlow. If you're not familiar with ScreenFlow, that's alright. Uh, it's a wonderful program for the Mac and I use it to create my YouTube screencasts or my course material. It's just an awesome program and I would definitely recommend checking it out. So what I did is I just created a short video before this one and let's go ahead and jump into ScreenFlow and take a look at it. So if we start scrubbing through it, there's actually no audio. I didn't want to have any audio on this one. So we just have one screen recording line here. And uh, if you don't know, we can always zoom in or zoom out, or we can use the commands Control Plus to zoom in on the, on the actual frame. Um, so what I want to do is actually just scrub through this. And if you start seeing some of this, so what we did here is we brought up Spotlight. We, we punched in Terminal. Uh, we did a command, we used a con uh, con command K or command L to kind of clear the screen off there. And so what I want to do is actually, while I'm talking about this to a user, I want to have some keyboard shortcuts show up on the screen, right? So one way we can do this is we can go over here and we can go into the screen recording tab. And since we're selected, we're on our actual recording, we could just check this show keystrokes. Now we can show all keys or show only modified keys. So let's take a look at what this is by default. So let's zoom in a little and let's start scrubbing through. So as we hit terminal there to or to bring up spotlight search, we know that's command space bar, right? So right away we can see that we're showing command space. Now another good thing about this is we can actually change the position of this. So the position of what this actually shows by default is right at the bottom. If we want to start changing this, we can say 300 and bump it up a little. Or we can jump to say 600 and put it more up here if we wanted to. So that looks great, but there's going to be another problem here. You'll see that it's recording every single keystroke that I do throughout this, whether I type anything, we get into Visual Studio Code here it's see it's just it's taking every single keystroke and so that's not what I want to do I really only want to show um, like modifier keys like I want to show a, a, a nice command to be able to open up uh, spotlight I don't want to show everything that I'm typing so we can change this to only modifier keys so now if we do this we can come through and we see that we're only seeing those modifier keys which is great but now I have one more problem. Maybe I don't want to do this throughout the entire video. So let's go ahead and uncheck this. And what I want to do is zoom in here and let's start to go through here. So we want to know when we hit the command space bar to bring up spotlight. Maybe I zoomed in a little bit too far. So right about there. So let's zoom out a little more. So right about there is where we brought up Spotlight, right? So I want to bring up Spotlight and then Terminal, and we'll call that an end. So what I want to do now is hit T on the keyboard, and it'll actually trim into two different recordings, right? So now we have everything up until there, which is great. And then we have everything after there. So now what I can do is just record those, show those keystrokes on this particular recording. It's not going to do it on this one. So if we jump over here, there's no show keystrokes here. It's only on this one. So now if I start to play through this, we're going to see the command spacebar key come up to show us how to bring up spotlight, but we're not seeing any more keys throughout the video, which is really nice. So I hope that helped. Just a short little quick video on how to record and show those keystrokes in your screencasts or presentations. I uh, hope that helped. And if it did, please subscribe. Leave me some comments below. I'm actually thinking about putting a ScreenFlow presentation together, but I know there's a ton out there. So leave me some comments and let me know what you think. And have a great day.